Mike and Kai making their way to the first scenario. Kai's a big dog. He fits up there though. He's gonna head over to the hammock. This is the last PSA 3 obedience of the day. Refusal one. Food refusal two. Kai is not even really looking at this food. And food refusal three. Here comes the bear. Oh, oh there's a bear. What the heck was that? Ah! Interested looking around a little, but no break. A little bit of quick looking from Kai, but he maintains his stay well. There's the recall whistle. And nice return. Mike bringing Kai over to the decoys. Next scenario. Very big dog. Nice attention here. Little bit of crowding on the healing, but dog's doing very well overall. Nice quick sit. Here's the whistle recall. Straight to heal. He's really big, but I think he probably could have gone faster. into the wagon. He downed him. Everyone making their way down the first leg of the wagon pull. Four decoys and a judge. The judge for the PSA 3's obedience and protection is Jerry Bradshaw. This is the last dog, Kai. Trained and handled by Mike. This is actually a grandson to one of my dogs. Stewart. He was an IPO national champion, and he also held the highest score of the year for a PSA 1. I think that was in 2011. Kai's doing great. 
he did break the down, but it's the, the object here is staying in the wagon. The down is just an extra layer that the handlers are choosing to add in. Thank you to everyone who's joined us for this year's PSA Nationals in Dunbar, West Virginia. It's starting to heat up, hoodies have come off. We are on the last PSA 3 dog. McMahon making his way down to where he will throw the box and then call the dog over the jump to retrieve the box and while the box is in the dog's mouth is the goal before he finishes the retrieve. There's the box. Here comes the jump. Go over the... Oh, missed the, ret missed the retrieve item. He's told to sit. Oh, he brought back the fish, or grabbed the fish. Mike helped him a little bit. Nice quick pickup. I also wanted the box out of his mouth to do the change of positions. Nice quick recall. Good stay there. And here come the remote transport decoys. Very nice transport by Kai. There's the whistle recall. Stop with the sit, very nice. And the finish of the recall. A guard on a seated decoy. Very nice. A little shifting there on Kai's part, but did maintain the down. That is the last PSA 3 obedience routine of the day. Kai and Mike McMahon. They'll make their way over to the critique area. Nice performance.
All right, our final team in level three obedience. We got Mike with Kai. Um, uh, he's uh, uh, a little. Uh, um, well, we'll start with the campfire. Uh, well executed. Now I can give you all the point totals on everything, so you can kind of uh, get some idea of why the scores might have been what they are. So the uh, at the campfire, uh, I judged only the food refusal and then the recall. Those are the only two things they're judged. So um, Mike uh, brings his dog out, puts his dog on the uh, platform. Food refusal was correct. Uh, the recall to the handler in the hammock was correct. So that's five points and six points. Um, then we go over and start to execute the healing. Overall in the healing, uh, I'd like to see him get into the behavior a little cleaner and faster into attention. He kind of takes him a little bit to settle in, then he kind of settles into being attentive after that. Um, 17 and a half out of 20 overall. We do lose attention a few times throughout. The, um, <clears throat> the initial left turn going out, um, one and a half out of two, the right turn was correct. Fast, slow, uh, were correct. A slight foraging on the normal, coming out of the slow, two and a half out of three. Uh, the um, about turn uh, was uh, slightly forged, coming to left turn was not judged. The uh, sit in motion uh, was full points. The recall to heel could be coming up fat, just a little bit faster. That was a, a four point exercise, the sit in motion, a three point exercise. The um, retrieve, uh, in this particular situation, we don't get the retrieve completed, right? So he comes over, he does grab the box, and then in the process of doing our changes, uh, we don't get it. We get a stand command for the first change, which uh, is not executed. He goes into the down. And then the second one uh, could have been a little bit quicker and a little bit cleaner. Two and a half out of three there. So we do zero the retrieve exercise. Then we move to the transport. Um, dog could go get a little faster into the transport. Six and a half out of seven. The recall back uh, could be a little bit faster. Six out of seven there. The uh, sit on recall uh, also could be a little bit faster there. Five out of six. Um, the recall is completed, then we go to the guard, and again, he could be just a little faster to the decoy in the chair, but he does execute that correctly, four and a half out of five. So the guard, the, the decoy stands up, um, we do a, a disengage there, uh, the down command is given for the disengage, uh, the decoy starts to separate, and uh, the stay there was judged. So as long as the dog stayed in position there, uh, that was judged. The whole wagon thing coming all the way around, all the way back, there was not worth any points at all. There, it was just, it was just, uh, it was just to see. But the dog got a little bit stressed out being away from the handler and so forth. But it did make my heart happy to watch all the handlers panic when the dog got out of the cart. Right. Um, so today, uh, overall, a very nice performance. Uh, all the performances were really good today. I was very happy to see it uh, today. Eighty-two and a half points. I will see you tomorrow. 82 and a half for Mike McMahon and Kai. All right, let's keep it going for our final competitor, Mike and Kai. All right, we're going to start setting up the field for level one protection. Go get yourself some food. Go shop the vendors. The barbecue is coming. Go